you're more than what you wear, the car that you sit in, your hair, your color, or your friends you hang out with. You're more than enough. You are already pre-approved by your creator. You are worthy. Welcome to the study of self-worth. Upon completion of this course, you will pay particular attention to the conversations in your head and the ones you voice out with your mouth. The key objectives of this course are, number one, to know and affirm your worth. Number two, to manage your thoughts and self-talk. Number three, to validate your esteem. The outline of the course is in two parts, understanding self-worth and how to develop self-worth. Let's waste no time and get started now. Lesson number one, understanding self-worth. How would you rate your self-worth? On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the highest, how would you rate your self-worth? Are you happy with the things that define you? Are you proud of who you are and who you are becoming? Are you excited about becoming a better version of yourself or would you rather be someone else? Do you allow what people say to you and about you to make you feel bad about yourself? We have great news for you. You are worthy. You were pre-approved before birth. Louis Lean Hay, an American motivational author, advises you to remember you have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. You are already pre-approved by your creator. You are valuable. You are worth more than gold. You do matter. You only need to accept yourself, believe in yourself, and love yourself. Self-worth begins in the mind. It moves to the heart and spews out of your mouth into who you are. You're more than what you wear, the car that you sit in, your hair, your color, or your friends you hang out with. You're more than enough. Let us take a moment to watch a video that affirms your worth and we will continue. Let me speak to that person that feels like they lost their worth and they value. This is a dollar bill. Now, if I go to the store and there's something for 90 cents, can I buy it with this dollar bill? Okay, all right. So, if I go to the store and there's something for 85 cents and after tax, it ends up being 96 cents, can I buy it with this dollar bill? Okay, all right, so what if I bought the dollar bill up? Think about it now. Like, I just bought the dollar bill up, like, so it can't be worth a dollar now. It's probably worth like 95 cents, right? How much do you think it's worth? No, a dollar, listen, listen, y'all gotta pay attention. I just bought it up, so clearly it's not worth a dollar anymore. All right, all right, so maybe, what if I step on it? What if I stomp it? I just stomped it. How much is it worth now? Maybe 65 cents, 68 cents? It's still worth a dollar? Okay, what if I ball it up? What if I stomp on it and then I put it in the trash can and it's in here with some trash and it's around some beer and some gum and a bunch of other nasty stuff and some guy off the street pulls the dollar out, unfolds it. How much is it worth now? Maybe 82 cents? And make, wait, come on, at least 92 cents? It's okay, all right, so what if I ball it up? What if I step on it? What if I put it in trash and then, watch this, I tear it in half. Think about it now, right? Shh, how much is it worth now? A dollar? I could tape it? Whoa, 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 shh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second, wait a second. I just, I just balled it up. I just stepped on it. I put it in trash, I pulled it out, then I tore it in half, and you mean to tell me I could pick the dollar up, I could wipe it off, and I could put some tape around it, and it's still worth a dollar? Then why, if this dollar doesn't lose its worth or its value, then why do you feel like you've lost your worth and value? Because many of you feel like you've been stepped on, you feel like you've been pushed aside, you feel like you've been abandoned, you feel like you've been talked about, you feel like you've been abused, like someone took from you, someone hurt you, somebody took advantage of you, and deep down inside your core, you feel like you've lost some of your value. And I am here to tell you today that this dollar still has worth and value 
because there are some men years ago who put value over this life and said that no matter what happens to it, it can still be taped back together, it can still be wiped off, and I am here to tell you that you were created and you're born and you're here and you have life and you have purpose and you have value and though you've gone through some hard times and though you've experienced some depression and you might be wanting to hurt yourself or you might want to give up, I am here to tell you you still got worth and value and there is nothing that can happen that can take your worth and your value away. So what you gotta do now is you gotta pick yourself up. You gotta dust yourself off and you gotta keep moving. What lessons did you learn from the video? Take a moment to share your lessons with us at ask at leaderfreak.org. Lesson number two, how do you develop self-worth? As a baby, you were so sure of yourself and deserving of good. You cried and believed that someone will pay attention to your needs whenever you cried. As you grew up, you began to conform to the do's and don'ts of society. And sometimes society has a way of making things look a particular way when in essence they are not. For example, if you have been compared with a sibling or classmate for something they are good at, you may think that you are not as good as a person. Instead of perhaps knowing that they are better at maths than you and you are better at reading maps than they are. According to actor Sandy Hall, self-worth is so vital to your happiness. If you don't feel good about you, it's hard to feel good about anything else. So, how can you develop your belief in your worth? Tips to help you develop it. Tip number one, know that you're worthy. You were born worthy. You can do anything and everything you put your mind to if you can just believe. Tip number two, learn to do. There is so much to learn every single day at every stage of your life. And you have been created with the capacity to learn new things daily. Learning to learn and to achieve increases your esteem and boosts your confidence in yourself. You can start by simply laying your bed, folding your clothes, ironing, learning to read and comprehend your notes, code, learn a new language, etc. As you can see, there's so much to learn. The more mastery you gain of a subject or activity, the better you become. You have just completed the course on how to cultivate self-worth. It's time for your gem step. A gem step is an assignment that helps you to put into practice what you have just learned. It will help you to make better daily choices and become the best version of yourself. Before we do that though, let's take a moment to recap your learning. Self-worth is the stories that you tell yourself and believe about yourself. You were born worthy and are pre-approved by your creator. You do not need to be something else to someone in order to be approved. All you need to do is to know your worth and choose to learn to be a better version of yourself daily. Now the gen step. Create a shield of self-worth. Remember to be true to yourself and be realistic. You know we love to hear from you. So do take a moment to send us a message on ask at leaderfreak.org. Thank you for spending this time with us. We are so proud of you. Remember to practice your gem step and share your experiences with us. Until we meet again, remember we're here to cheer you on to greatness.